it's Kaylee from the Healing Sound Arts program and the founder of Vibrations of Joy. So I'm here to do a second video. Um, I made a video the other day about um, things that you should avoid when you're using crystal singing bowls and buying crystal singing bowls but not having any training and the, the main mistakes that a person can make um, because most of us, when we get a crystal singing bowl, we want to do good things with it most of the time. But if we don't know what we're doing and we don't have the background or training and we don't know enough about sound and how to use the sound, how to direct the sound, um, we could end up doing some really damaging things. And so as a follow up to that, I wanted to just say a few more things about sound. So one thing about sound is that it's so powerful and people often underestimate the power of sound. They might feel really good at a sound bath they went to or something they listened to online and it felt amazing that they just had to go and get their own crystal singing bowls and, um, with, and they don't have any training. And they're, first of all, they're undervaluing um, knowledge and training about playing crystal singing bowls, thinking that you just sit there with a mallet and play them. That's not how they're used. And second of all, they're underestimating the power of sound. There's a reason the sound made you feel really good, right? Uh, sometimes the sound can make us feel not so good. Um, we might get a headache. Um, we might feel like we can't relax at the sound bath. And that could be because the practitioner is not trained enough to have the event or to work on anyone. It can also be because they don't know how to arrange people in the room or um, direct the energy so that it doesn't go from one person into another. And it can also be that sound can be very detoxifying and purifying. So if you haven't been you know, eating well, or you have uh, old emotional trauma or stress that's um, kind of trapped in the body or in the organs, um, certain sounds might bring about a detoxifying experience. So you may be purifying. So that could be another reason why you feel uncomfortable or, you know, you may get a headache. That doesn't happen very often, um, you know, where you get a headache but it is very purifying, I can tell you that. You can release a lot of stuff from using sound. Not only does it put a person into these deeper states where they receive the insight that they need, uh, but it also, through the practitioner and possibly a contract of working with that practitioner, you can be ready just to let something go and your soul has chose this person and the situation and and space to finally let that go. So sound, most people undervalue or underestimate what sound can do. You're working with basically creational force energy. You're working with frequency and light. And when you're using sound as a trained practitioner, you know what sounds to make you know where to direct the sound, where to lead the sound, and you know what to feel within yourself um, that is amplified by the sound. Because we really want to become what the person needs in frequency and light when they come to see us. And so sound, you know, is a creational energy. Frequency and light, it's like it creates, it can create form. It can um, grow something like a tumor. It can make a tumor bigger. It can destroy and break things apart. You know, like a kidney stone in the hospital, when you go for a sonogram, it's got frequency that can break apart kidney stones. You can also do that with your voice, by the way. I've done that before. Sound can be weaponized. That's why the military of our government uses sound weapons, frequency weapons. Uh, they use them all the time. And um, I'm not gonna go into too much uh, of, you know, what people would call a conspiracy theory, but you, there's plenty of evidence out there that you can find that will share, show you 
how they use sound and frequency as a weapon. So these are the different things or different ways um, that sound can affect things. Now, if you're just buying crystal singing bowls and you're working on yourself and you're tuning in deeply and you're using your own intuition, that's one thing. But if you're out there doing sound journeys, sound baths, um, you know, working with other people, especially one one on one, uh, you have to be very careful and get some training. You have to know how to tune into the sound and how to create the sounds that are highest and best for a person's healing. Those sounds that may give them help to give them insights or that will um, dissolve, you know, any patterns they have. Um, because they're going in really deep. And the crystal singing bowls are a tool to help people go into those deeper brainwave states so that they can receive like he healings and insights and things like that. I guess that's all I have to say about that. I, I just, you know, if you want some training, of course I have the Healing Sound Arts program. I also am creating a lot of courses right now. I have one coming out um, in another week. It's called embody your abundance now. It teaches you a little bit about sound healing, but if you really want to be a sound healing practitioner, I highly recommend the Healing Sound Arts system and we're open for another round so that, you know, we have open spots available right now for fall. So if you're interested in that, check out the links below, um, contact me, I'll tell you all about it. We'll see if it's a good fit because I don't allow everyone to come into the program. Um, and then if, you know, if this program, it's a 90 day coaching program, if this doesn't work for you, then you can just come into the, the healing sound arts, um, system, try that out or the other courses that I'm creating, including a crystal singing bowls practitioner course that it seems like a lot of people could really use right now. So I'm in the middle of creating that and I hope you check out the links, sign up for my newsletter, and then I can send you the freebies and send you the notifications about the courses and you can also schedule an appointment to see me if you're interested in training to become a sound healing practitioner and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one